catch combo. We should totally catch combo Rapidash until For the, the rest shiny. of the game. Yeah, that's all of the rest of today is going to be. Does comboing them make a shiny happen? Uh, every there's like thresholds or something, but basically, yeah, catch combo increases your chance of getting shinies. The Rapidash is already shiny. It's so shiny. What would a shiny Rapidash even look like? Uh, well, have you ever read uh, the third part of the Divine Trilogy? <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, another rapid dash. Did I hit something else? No. It's no. huge! Huge. They have to tell us because you can't tell. Yeah. They look the same. I'm also here. <laughs> There's Ultra Balls. We can waste them. It's fine. Yeah. Dude, we have infinite amounts of money. We do kind of. Yeah, there's a... Size bonus. You know what the Divine Trilogy is, right? No. Dante's Inferno? And okay. then the other yeah. two. Okay. Because there's... There, and the other two. Yeah, there's Hell, there's Purgatory, and there's Heaven. And I know it's Dante's Inferno, then I think it's Dante's Purgatorio or something. <laughs> and then I... And then I think there's a, the, the Heaven one that's called something. It's hard to remember. Everyone always just re references Dante's Inferno. But there's three books. Which, in particular, it's fun to make fun of because it's really easy to see... Uh, Dante's Inferno as the first ever, like a first case ever of a Mary Sue, <laughs> where Dante is just this weird author self-insert that's cool and friends with everybody and has all these talents and everybody likes them. And he's going through all of hell and purgatory and heaven just meeting everybody and he's like, oh, the rules don't apply to him and, he, and he's just there and he's hanging out with all of the author's favorite historical figures and shit. Like, it's really, like, awkward. Uh... <laughs> I forgot why I was bringing it up. Oh yeah, right. When you get, uh, people people remember Dante's Inferno mainly because of all the all the punishments. Okay. Like every every circle of hell had a different punishment for a different type of sinner and stuff like that. Like that's usually what people know about it. Like the, the, what those were. Uh, Purgatory also has those, and then heaven's fucking boring. <laughs> Every every layer of heaven they go further in the book is just like, and the angels are sitting on clouds even higher up, and they're glowing even more, and it's blinding light and light <laughs> and blinding and light, and like it just keeps upping itself on every single layer of being more and more blinding and bright, and that's all. That's pretty much all they go with it. It's really like. Uh, that and like really outlandish descriptions of angels where it's like it's a book flying in a series of circles with a crown and it's on fire or something is like what, how they will uh, describe like a god or a seraphim or something and their 17 wings and shit uh, but like once you get past all the punishments heaven's just kind of boring because it's fucking light <laughs> it's, everything's brighter every layer up <laughs> so, like, that's, so that's a shiny point top <laughs> <laughs> Shiny Ponyta is the equivalent of like modern memes, <laughs> where they just keep gar they just keep er er eroding the quality until it's just deep fried memes. Yeah, it's like that, but for brightness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we crack the code. Here, have a helping hand <laughs> and burn that thing. Executor to death. will be dead, even though it's higher level than me. We'll see how it goes. That looked painful. Yeah. Did that, look, did that fire at the end look like a meeple? No, it's like a cross. Nine tails. Oh, shit. <laughs> there goes that advantage. <laughs> Guess I'll have to batty bad. How many four-legged fire types are there? All of them. Um, let's see. Flareon, Ponyta, Rapidash, Ninetales, Vulpix... Growlithe and Growlithe Arcanine. Arcanine. We've got seven. There's definitely there. a lot more. Like I like that you can qualify fire type under a sub subcategory, and there's still already like four times as many of them of that subcategory. <laughs> <laughs> there's already more more of that subcategory than there are the entirety of ghost types. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Was that stomp? Yeah, you flattened it with stomp. <laughs> I forgot what I picked. I was like, well, how did that happen? <laughs> That was distressing. Uh, we're talking. <laughs> that's just Gen One. Nine tails will never be the same. 
quadrupedal. Yeah, yeah just Gen fire 1 types. quadrupedal fire types. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I failed to stomp. Hey, it's a witness puzzle. <laughs> Did he see it? Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Real life witness puzzles. <laughs> Stop putting lamp posts in my weak. games. Have fun. I'll be fine. I'll squish it. I'll batty bat it. How just. So, everyone knows the Charmander tail going out thing being terrifying. But one of the most distressing things I ever saw in Pokemon was when, like, Starmie's gem started cracking. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think you can fix that, right? That's that's a that's a broken Cause, like, Starmie, right? Because, like, there's, a, there's definitely a Starmie or a Staryu in the main series that, like, starts disintegrating on screen. And you're like, this is terrifying. What that's is an it? Eevee! Look at the tiny Eevee! I want to catch an Eevee. Just to have more. Oh, we're... we can't evolve ours. <clears throat> yeah, we could. We could actually have evolutions. Our no. combo. Yeah, well. Eevee! No, Eevee, no. Why, Eevee? <laughs> Eevee, <laughs> you little punk. Nice. Nice. That's a nice throw. Is that the first time I've seen an Eevee? I think Besides so. Besides ours, obviously. Yeah. Wow. Should immediately evolve it. It's so I hear what we need is more fire types. <laughs> Our entire party is just quadruped <laughs> fire types. <laughs> You're gonna get rid of Charizard? Hey! The, uh... It's so unassuming looking. Yeah. It's just a tiny brown fox wandering around with such... so, so many possibilities. Oh. Rapidash seems interested in the Eevee you just caught. Uh, okay. What does that mean? <laughs> Do you want a snack, Rapidash? How does that manifest? Are you just gonna chill up there? <laughs> Do we have a point already? Yeah. 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 Right? Do -do -do -do. Oh, we'll pick. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh. You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Thank Picnicker Misaki. Unfortunately, she didn't anticipate Helper Trainer. <laughs> Helper Trainer, is here, is here to stomp your your your, your quadruped fire type. <laughs> Great. Uh, oh, or not? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Eevee is horrifyingly strong. Wiggly tough! <laughs> it's just like bleh. Here. Kill something. By whatever means you you deem Burn it. This is the police. Please burn them. <laughs> Oh, it has so much HP. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like it's like the firefighters from Fahrenheit. <laughs> you know about that? No. <laughs> so in Fahrenheit 451, firefighters start fires. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit of a change. <laughs> bit of a remix. <laughs> little, uh, a little different. Yeah. Yeah. In that story, books are outlawed. So firefighters burn, if, if there's any books ever, firefighters burn your house down. <laughs> That's the story of Fahrenheit 451. That's great. It's, uh, it's a bit odd. It's a great way to stay in shape. Oh. What do we say to Ivysaurs? There's like, there's like funny rumors about like, you know people sometimes say that firefighters used to put out fires? <laughs> That's crazy. It's actually a really frustrating read because everyone in the entire book is so infuriatingly dense and, and it's not like they're miswritten it's like they're designed oh they put me to sleep yeah they avoided your attack and Shit. put you to sleep <laughs> guess i'll just have to burn them eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I like the dramatic zooms oh yeah i still pick moves stomp it Sizzly slide. 
Yeah, I knew you could do it. <laughs> so have you been playing Smash? I've been playing a little Smash. I have not played a lot of it so far. I've only unlocked like a handful of Is characters. it just me or is his voice a surprise? <laughs> Whose voice? Ivysaur. I don't, I've definitely not unlocked like any of the Pokemon characters. It's, his voice is a surprise. <laughs> You get it back to me when you find that. I, I will. <laughs> is I'm just really confused. I'm doing the, uh, I was like, okay, the campaign. I'm like, okay, Squirtle, I get it. Charizard, I get it. Ivysaur, what is your voice? <laughs> I kind of love Incineroar's voice. It's absurd. Uh, so you're doing the World of Light campaign? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a full series on that. And I'm... It's I, long. <laughs> I Well, yeah, it is. I'm really enjoying it. As yeah. far as... Uh, it's a bunch of custom little scenarios, and you keep... Well, I'm doing a thing where every time I ch unlock a character, I switch to that character. Ah. Uh, and so that that itself keeps the whole playthrough pretty varied, because over the course of the series, I'm getting through, what, like 70 characters, right. basically? So it's like, oh no, the oh. series might be like... There's another observation deck. This series might be more than 50 episodes, that's crazy, but like, I'm unlocking like one a character per episode, so every single episode is me playing as a different character, more right. or less. Which uh, definitely adds to the variety for the series. It's up there with, like, uh, the campaign for Dead or Alive 5, which has you play through the entire cast of characters while you're going through it, instead of the usual arcade mode that fighting games have. It has, like, an actual story, which is stupid, but it's a bunch of cutscenes that give you an excuse to play every character in the game. <laughs> Compared to, uh, all past Smash games, this, this, the single-player story mode in this is really good. It's Do you like it more than Hyper Light Drifter? Hyper Light Drifter? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> the one for Brawl. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hyper Light Drifter is a very different game. Uh, Subspace Emissary, there we go. Hyper Light Drifter. <laughs> 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 have you played Hyper Light Drifter? I must have, I don't remember. Hyper Light Drifter is like an isometric, uh... Slightly Souls-ish fighting game. Oh shit! You're fine. You'll be yeah, fine. Whatever. Or we could just, can, go ahead just, and wake up. We can just change Pokemon, can't we? Yeah, you can. Light you. Oh jeez. <laughs> Who is a weird toy monster? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the eyes. It looks like. It's Although I'm really not ready. Plastic. I'm also not quite ready for yeah, like weirdly like child-safe Raichu. Like everything's so. Well, every edge is rounded off, and it's weird looking. Child safe, right? <laughs> Even his little sword tail is rounded off. Good job, right? You. <laughs> right, you. It's your time to shine. But yeah, I always heard. I thought there was good stuff about subspace emissary. It's supposed to be some sort of like extended side-scrolling thing. With a bunch of fights and everything, but also like tons of cutscenes and story or something. But it's supposedly the developer, after working on all those cutscenes, got mad. They all just went straight on YouTube anyway, so he didn't want to make cutscenes anymore. <laughs> and so that's why there was no campaign last game, and then this game, uh, there's, there's just an intro cutscene basically. I'm frustrated that they all went on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, every game is gonna go in its entirety on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. On a regular basis, there's just people from Japan in the games industry that have weirdly outdated looks on all of YouTube as a concept. Oh, these are all trainers. Yeah. Kuroko! They're all bird keepers. We're like in their secret bird keeper club. Let's get them. <laughs> Let's burn it all down. Have you considered having a bird in that cage? Nah, he, carries he carries around a bird. He carries around a bird cage in a world where Pokeballs exist, and every bird is a Pokemon. <laughs> He's a well-crafted friendo. Also, keeping any Pokemon that exists in this game in a bird cage that size would be cruel. Yeah. There's no Pokemon that comfortably fits in there. I'm still on Rapidash. <laughs> yeah. I should probably switch you off that one of these. I days. guess I could just find the one that makes Awaken. I'm not even gonna read it. I'm just gonna assume that it's not stupidly named. <laughs> But I've been wrong before. Awakening just powers up your abilities. <laughs> it awakens your abilities, your inner chakra. Good job. Ow. That wasn't nice. 
Of course they're attacking Rapidash. Yeah, I, I mean, they just woke up. That means eye contact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this Pidgeot might be an idiot. Stomp it. I want to see the air, this flying type stomped. Uh, see if it flattens onto the ground. Yeah, or above the ground. <laughs> I want to see it be a flying saucer of Pidgeot. You got crit. <laughs> Oh, it didn't go down. No, it actually lived. I'm wondering how that rendering works. You know what I mean? I yeah. definitely wonder, like, how is... Because, like, it, it's not even uh, an image. It's a fully... It's still a fully animating 3D model that's flattening. I'm like, I'm really curious yep. how easy or hard that is to do. Because it might be just a really simple tool that already exists in the rendering. Or it might be, like... Somebody's poor, some poor guy had a weekend of making that work. <laughs> Unlike everyone. <laughs> Don't do it. I want that Pokeball. Oh, for me. This is my turn. For me, the crazy example of like having to work it on everything is like the Kirby example. Yeah. The nightmare that Kirby can absorb a power from every single character in yep. the game. <laughs> Some of it, and some of those characters are multiple characters because yep. of like Pokemon Trainer, and then yeah, every time they add DLC, it's DLC for Kirby because Kirby has to have a new move now, a new move and a new visual. Yeah, admittedly, it's their favorite. It's their best boy Kirby. It's a, uh, ow! It's the guy who makes the the Smash games his character, so I'm sure he's happy to do it and make him sp so special. Because Kirby gets a lot of attention. <clears throat> Smash Brothers shares the same like interface design as some Kirby games. Uh, Kirby gets a new move for every new character they ever add, and Kirby is the lone survivor that enables the entirety of the campaign yep. in Smash Five. We're fighting a far He's the only trainer. one. This is weird. I mean, would you say that it's far fetched? <laughs> 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 no one will believe you. <laughs> I like Farfetch'd. I do too. He's neat. So I'm gonna beat you with a celery. <laughs> also, it's an example of fish learning. Uh, fish. A fish. <laughs> of birds learning to, learning to use tools, which is a thing. Yeah. They usually use their beaks, but still. Yeah, like the uh, the example of like that that bird that like it'll like peck its way into a tree and then use like a stick to like skewer bugs to pull them out and eat them like it'll, the bird there are birds that use tools to go hunting for grubs and shit it's neat part of me wants to have a gra uh, a bar chart which is number number of times pressed pressing a between the two of us after a session of this <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only button. <laughs> but like you just, because you have to spam it so much, which I'm constantly not. Into, I have to. I have to force myself to think about it to realize that how much Lapras! you're spamming a all the time. Lapras. Why is that Lapras in such a tiny pool? Yeah, there's such a. There, it's the smallest pool. Why? <laughs> there's bigger pools that are unoccupied. Look, like a gym. Is it? Is this a gym or is it the the, the, the That's ranch? The gym. Oh, I thought maybe it was like the ranch or whatever those guys are in. The safari, safari zone. zone. How back is the Go complex? <laughs> don't, 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 don't think about the Pokemon Go convention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't think back to that. You've met Bill. He's my grandson. He always liked rare things, even as a child. Have you ever seen like the compilations of that? No. The compilations of the Go, the Go, uh, the Pokemon Go like convention or whatever. The first big meetup where they put out a legendary and oh, everything. Oh, and it all went. It went horribly. It was a mess, and no one could play the game, and the event was just a nightmare. Yeah, that just sounds like a synonym for the start of Pokemon Go the, altogether. The entire event, but like this was so much after the original start of yeah, Pokemon I know. Go too, though. But like it was such a, there was such a like constant background like worrying undertone of like seething, like this might this event might go bad if just the wrong thing happens. Like you're just like you're just watching, like worrying, like when when does the riot start? <laughs> I'm scared. 
it's, Hi. it's awful for the people that went to attend though because yeah you paid how much to travel there and oh yeah lodge I, think, there. I think like i think they refunded the tickets but that's not even the beginning no. for a lot of people price wise we should we should rest and save we should because we don't think we saved for a while Last and then we'll we... have another gym and we'll find out it's the seventh one and we're still missing the fifth oh, one gosh. <laughs> Rapid dash. Do do do. Yeah, fifty percent of our party uses fire attacks. This is this is okay. I'm fine with this. Yeah, we hey, already, look, we're, this we're, guy. We already beat Misty, which means water will never come up again. Should visit the Go complex. Is he going to teach us another really stupid name uh, DV move? But I don't have space for another. What, stupid what do you have move. besides Swift? What's your last attack? Helping hand. Eh, it's not that good. But, Does helping hand even give me that much of a boost to justify its, its existence? I don't know. As opposed to having more elements. These are the dumbest names! <laughs> Buzzy Buzz! Sparkly swirl. Is Buzzy Buzz a bug attack? Probably. <laughs> Bouncy bubble is water. Glitzy glow. Glitzy Sappy glow. seed. Freezy frost. Okay, so and sparkly swirl. <laughs> Glitzy glow is probably electric. Fairy? I. I'm thinking that Sparkly Swirl is the is the fairy. Type. It's hard to make a call between those two, huh? Sappy Seed is grass. Fritzy Frost is ice, or Freezy Frost is ice. Yeah. Ice is always good. <laughs> Buzzy Buzz. Ice, ice is really good. Ice is probably good because you have dark and fire. I have dark and fire. So ice is probably good. Ice is really good. I literally have no clue how fairy works <laughs> elementally, so I can't com we took, comment like, on that. Glitzy, or if we got the electric attack, we could get rid of Raichu. <laughs> get another quadrupedal <laughs> fire type. <laughs> Just get rid of Raichu entirely for a Nine Tails. <laughs> We'd be less off put by it. <laughs> oh, yeah. If it ever, yeah. <laughs> Do you think you'll eventually replace uh, Blitz with another one of these? Uh, or Sizzly Slide? What's your fast thing? Swift. Oh, Swift? I think you'll ever replace Swift. I don't know. With Swift, the fourth element. Swift is really good. And it's the only thing that the Eevee gets the same type attack bonus on. Oh, you're right. And yeah. it hits all of the opposing Pokemon. Yeah. Wait, it hits all of them? Yeah. It's a multi target Yeah. I didn't realize that. Or I forgot. I don't know. You wanted mm. that Freezy Frast. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather have like a Lapras in the party. With ice attacks. I don't know why, but I always think Lapras is a second generation Pokemon. Is it because they write about it in Johto everywhere? Yeah. That's why I associate it with Johto, because it's even in the theme song and everything. Yeah. We could take the fairy type attack. Does it actually give us details? That's, that season had a better song. Fight me. <laughs> yeah. It's a fairy attack. <clears throat> what? Power 90. Also heals all status conditions of the user's party. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why is it so strong? Is the same power too? Yeah, they're all 90. I guess the idea is that some of the other ones can do uh, status effects on the enemy. Yeah. But that one heals your party. What is Batty? <clears throat> That's interesting. Oh yeah, it gives us a, a so you, physical you would move. So you'd have a cure. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. That also does a lot of damage, and very few. Th there, I don't think anything is resistant to fairy. Maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, it's animation's probably pretty good. Shall we? Yeah, sure. All right. Sparkly swirl. Goodbye, it's helping hand. Pink. <laughs> Intensely pink. I want to see the animation. Okay. Thanks, guy. I like to stare at the All bubbles. Right. The bubbles are nice. Is that just an empty aquarium? I don't know. Did it's she just Pokemon say? League. Did she just say the road to Viridian City? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought she said the you words. Have a ground type Marowak? I'd like to trade my Marowak for it. Yes. What type of Marowak is it? I don't have it. No. No pressure. Of course. He's probably giving us the Alolan Dark. Is it a Dark Marowak? Like Dark Ghost or something? It, oh. Is there like a vengeance Marowak? There is. Oh my god. Punished Marowak? Yeah. <laughs> and Metal Gear Solid 5 punished Marowak. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna have horns and eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> 
it is pretty terrifying looking, and it's got like I would imagine it if it was dark. Sh if it's dark ghost, it's got like green fire on its. Oh my is god! That rocket. Yes. Oh. We'd heard there were loads of rare Pokemon in that Go Park place, so we came to check it out for ourselves. But it was so complicated. App this and connectivity that. <laughs> it was so creepy. We had to get out of there. Are they mocking the event? <laughs> They're mocking the Pokemon Go. Oh linkage. no. And then Meowth looked directly at the camera. <laughs> Why can't I trip over a get rich quick scheme already? Hmm. It feels like I just kicked something really hard. Could be some kind of treasure. At last, a big score. Let's see what it is. Heave ho! Wow, just look at that shine. This must be th some amazing treasure. As if, as if, yuck. What are these, some kind of gold teeth? T teeth No matter how gold they are, some things just aren't worth the effort. Ah, it's the twerp. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Take these off our hands. That Ew, they are gold teeth. Okay. I thought they were going to find like a fossil. We're, we're busy, so you take care of whatever those are for us. That's right. Now's the time for our fantastic getaway. Uh, they didn't say it. <laughs> they didn't have to blast uh. off. Oh, Pokeball. Oh, you. You. Oh, I guess we should jump down that. Pokeball. Okay. Yeah. Find more gold teeth. <laughs> Why can't we just find a fossil? Swimmers? Which fossil did we get? Was it Aerodactyl? Uh, no, it's Ammonite or the other dude. Aerodactyl's the... Oh, it's an Ammonite and Kabuto? Yeah. I think we went That's Kabuto. a pose. <laughs> hey, Richard. I do like the, uh, shell oh, crabs or whatever. I can't think of the name. Batty bad, super right effective. Now. Batty bad, super effective. Sparkly swirl. <laughs> it's that zoom in on a rapid dash as you said that was incredible. I'm gonna use agility for no reason. Sparkly swirl. Oh my Whoa. god. Oh my god. That's an attack. Oh, uh, rip you. Uh, that's a lot of water. Oh, it hit both of us. Yeah. That's a lot of water. <laughs> that's distressing. <laughs> Rapid has vibrated violently. <laughs> Did you get enough speed to go before me? That's the question. We'll never know. Oh. No. Because after using that, I'm just going to heal myself now. They don't attack you very much. I wonder if it's because you, if you, it might be because you always have a level advantage. They're trying to attack their lower level character. Yeah, Rapidash leveled up. Unfortunately, that hat, that attack hit Starmie on his cleavage plane, and his crystal is permanently split in twain. All warmed up. What? Got a runny nose? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Nice. Why? Why that detail? <laughs> Thanks, swimmer. Okay. The water is moving gently. It means maybe we'll learn how to do our swim. You'll have a heart attack? What? Slow down, you'll have a heart attack? About what? Better stop you having a heart attack with this Pokemon battle. Reese! <laughs> Dratini? Dratini! It's not a swimmer. That's a... It's a freaking dragon! I assume it swims. <laughs> Isn't it a water type? No. It's are a dragon. Dratini not, are not water type? They're dragons. I thought they were water type. Our drag dragons are strong against fire and water is strong against fire, so I'm in a good space. <laughs> is fairy strong against dragon? I don't is know. anything strong against dragon? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. It, it was strong against dragon. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> Eevee, that's disgusting. Why Why you have to wreck it so hard? <laughs> it's like an orbital strike. Oh, that's chilly. Thanks for the Pokeballs. Alright, let's go find... Oh, I guess we could go do the gym. 
I just walked into someone's house instead. That's normal. That's a, it's an easy mistake to make. You just wander you into people's Route houses. Route 12. Route 12, I think, is where we're going to turn in those gold teeth. Oh, God. <laughs> now we have a gold teeth objective to I think continually we have a quest. think about. We have a quest. Where is Route 12? 